there, this is Bobby here at Cafe Demitas, Little Tokyo, downtown LA. Today we're doing a brew guide on how to brew coffee in a coffee siphon. We like coffee coming out of the siphon because aside from it being really sexy, it creates a very light, uh, clean, aromatic cup of coffee. Real clean, very crisp, almost no body, uh, almost like a tea, like a coffee tea, if you will. Even though it looks all high tech, it's actually one of the oldest ways of brewing coffee. The first patent was actually filed in the 1800s in Germany. And I always think that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll, we're gonna fill this up with 350 grams of water. Uh, we're gonna stick to our usual ratio of 350 grams of water to 25 grams of coffee. If you don't have a scale, that's about 11 ounces of water to four tablespoons of coffee. Check, check on your scale. Another drop, and we're good to go. We're gonna put it back on the heat lamp now. Turn it on, full flat, so it gets to the right temperature. In the meantime, we grab our pot chamber, grab a filter, cloth filter. Uh, the cloth filter is one thing that separates this from other brew methods. It really spears out a lot of the oil, a lot of the grit, so it leaves you with a very clean and crisp cup of coffee. Lock the filter in place. And then what you want to do is make sure that the filter is centered in the top chamber. And then we're just going to slide it in and let it sit there until the water is at the right temperature. One reason we don't seal this right away is because uh, this whole process works on water pressure, not water temperature. Because there's more pressure at the bottom right now, even though it's not at the right temperature, the water will push up to the top. We don't want to do that yet until it's at the right temperature. And you know it's at the right temperature because it starts to bubble like you see right now. When you take the chain out, it stops bubbling. So when you put it back in, you see that it starts to bubble again, you know it's at the right temperature, it's ready to be sealed. So, seal it. And you can see the water start to push up into the top chamber. So while the water is getting to the right temperature, you can grab your coffee beans and grind them. Today we're brewing up the Ethiopia Dado, roasted by Demitas Roasting. Uh, we really like this coffee. It's, you get jasmine, you get lemon, a little bit of grapefruit peel on the end of it. And it just it works really well with the siphon because it gives you that really, it really brings out the floral notes in this coffee. One thing interesting to note, how small the beans are. Ethiopian coffee is, uh, has really some of the smallest beans, which is pretty interesting. You can see how much smaller the Ethiopian coffee is than the Ethiopia heirloom varietal to the Colombian coffee, which is of a Keturah varietal. And grind them up. So we use a pretty coarse grind for this because you're brewing it at a very steady heat. Uh, it really extracts a lot of flavor out of it without needing to grind it particularly fine. So the coarse grind really works very well for the siphon coffee. So once you've ground your coffee, you're ready to brew. Uh, when the water's all the way at the top, you're just gonna add the coffee in at the top and then agitate it. Now we like to agitate six times up and down, six times left and right. So, you just wanna make sure all the grounds are saturated and mixed into the water. And now we just wait. Um, now you start to note that pretty quickly, especially if your beans are really fresh, the you'll see the top layer here starts to build up a lot of gas. And so around the 50 second mark, we like to degas it um, just by passing our, uh, our stick through it and just letting the gas loose uh, and releasing all the coffee that's trapped in that layer of gas. We like to brew it for about 100 seconds. And once those 100 seconds are up, we kill the light. We like to take it off the heat and let it cool down. And as the as it cools down, the pressure in the lower chamber decreases and it creates a suction or a vacuum, sometimes called vacuum coffee, and it starts to siphon down in the bottom. So the last step is to just give it one last big stir and let it siphon down. And we'll let it siphon back down into the bottom chamber here. This little mound here you see is just Right there. Nice and even mound means a nice and even extraction. And once all of the water is at the bottom, it starts to bubble as it sucks air through it, you're ready to serve. 